Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about what Warren Buffett has been buying and selling in Q4 of 2020 and what his stock portfolio looks like as we lead into 2021. Because yes, I know it's February already in 2021, but we just got the 13F filings publicly released uh, for Q4 of 2020. 13F filings, of course, tell us what these big investors actually hold in their portfolios. They give us a quarterly update as to what they hold. Um, and just in the last couple of days, the 13F filings have come out for Q4 of 2020. So what we're seeing now, uh, the 13Fs we're looking at now, show us what these investors um, were holding leading into 2021. So in this video, let's look at what Warren Buffett was buying, what he was selling, and what, he, what the largest positions in his portfolio are as he heads through into 2021. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk about are the big new stakes. So the new buys that Warren Buffett has completed in Q4 2020. The first one is a big buy and it's in Verizon. So of course, Verizon is the massive US telecommunications company. Uh, they offer wireless internet, TV and phone services. They've got 2,330 retail stores uh, and they're actually the second largest telecommunications company by revenue behind AT&T. So interesting interesting that Buffett is getting more exposure to the telecommunications sector. As we know, uh, I think from the Q3, he bought into T-Mobile. And if we have a look at that position, he actually added 117% to that position as well. So Buffett is seemingly getting into the telecommunications uh, sector, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, telecommunications, particularly with what's going on, uh, increased uh, data usage, you know, 5G's just really wearing up at the moment. There's lots of different growth avenues when it comes to telecommunications, especially into the future. You know, we're only using more data, we're only using the internet more and more, while traditional telecommunications like, you know, home phone and that sort of thing is kind of dying out. There's definitely still massive growth uh, in the telecommunications space to be had going into the future. So it doesn't really surprise me that Buffett's getting into this space. Um, and so at the end of the quarter, at the end of Q4, he owned 147 million shares and those shares had a market value of 8.62 billion. So he's probably spent eight to 8.6 billion buying those shares. Um, and interestingly, it was straight to the sixth largest position in his portfolio. That's pretty unheard of. Usually it takes a little while for him to buy in over time, but this one is straight to the sixth largest position. And actually this is the stock. I remember a couple of months ago, there was a bit of buzz going out about this secret stock that Warren Buffett was buying into because he actually asked the SEC for special treatment. So he didn't have to disclose what he was buying. Um, I think it was last quarter because he was still building a position because of course we know that the Warren Buffett effect is very real. Um, essentially, as soon as it's public information that Warren Warren Buffett is buying something, then the share price spikes. The uh, Verizon's Warren Buffett effect was plus 5% <laughs> on this news. So a couple of months ago, he asked for special treatment to not have to disclose what he was buying at the time so that he could build that position. And the SEC have worked with him before to make sure Berkshire Hathaway is able to build the position that they want before it becomes public information and, and the Buffett effect kicks in. But anyway, I thought that would be interesting. That was a uh, Verizon was the stock that we were all wondering, you know, what is this secret buy Warren Buffett was doing? So anyway, Verizon was the biggest buy of the quarter. Um, some another new stake that he had was actually in Chevron. Now, obviously you guys know me, I am in no way, shape or form an, an oil expert. In fact, I really don't like oil companies that totally sits firstly outside my values and also sets well outside my circle of competence. Um, so I can't add too much good information here, but he bought a new stake in Chevron, which is actually the, the world's eighth largest oil company. So it's a big one for sure. Uh, he bought 48.5 million shares. And at the end of Q4 2020, the shares were worth $4.1 billion. So it is a pretty significant stake in his portfolio. And he definitely would have made money on this already. I was looking the other day at uh, the share price of Chevron. It's already up 12% year to date. So um, even though I don't necessarily agree with investing in oil, from my own personal values, it's definitely an investment that Warren Buffett feels comfortable with. And he's already made some money on it. Uh, so that is, they're the two big new buys from Warren Buffett. 
We can have a look at some of the other stuff he did in the quarter. He added to his pharmaceutical bets. So he added 28% to Merck. He added 20% to Abvi. He added 11% to Bristol Myers. Uh, he actually reduced his Apple position by 6%. But to be honest, I don't think this is absolutely anything to worry about. I mean, Apple, as we know, has had a tremendous run up. Maybe he was just trimming. Who knows? But I mean, it's not like he's trying to get out of Apple, it seems, because I mean, Apple is 43% of his portfolio. It takes up nearly half of his portfolio, which is just, just insane, really. Um, but there you go. Uh, in terms of companies that he sold out completely of, he sold out of Pfizer, he sold out of JP Morgan, he sold out of Barrick Gold, he sold out of M&T Bank and also PNC Financial. So interestingly, he only recently bought Pfizer, but you know, in, out, <laughs> he hasn't held that one for, you know, a couple of decades, like a, like a Coca-Cola or something like that. And the other interesting takeaway about what he's selling is that there are a lot of financial uh, companies, companies in the financial sector. And that's definitely a trend as we'll talk about in just a sec. Buffett is continuing to get out of the financials. Um, so what I thought we'd do next is actually have a look. So, okay, we'll look through his top 10 holdings for 2021. But before I got to that, I wanted to talk about what his top 10 holdings were at the same time last year. So rewind the clock 12 months. What were the 10 biggest positions in Buffett's portfolio and how has that changed over the last year? What companies has he gotten rid of? What companies has he added? And what are the top 10 largest companies that he's interested in and wanting to hold in 2021. So if we start with 2020, um, we'll go from one to 10. So the largest position was Apple, then Bank of America, then Coke, American Express, Wells Fargo, Kraft Heinz, JP Morgan, US Bancorp, Moody's, and then Delta. So interestingly, as I was just talking about before, um, six out of the 10 positions there are in the financial sector, in the US financials. So rewind the clock literally just 12 months ago and Buffett was definitely bullish on the US financials and he had big positions in a lot of these different financial companies. But this is where things get interesting. Let's now have a look at his top 10 holdings at the end of Q4 2020. So his top 10 holdings for 2021. Again, we'll go from largest position down to smallest position in the top 10. So it starts again, the top four are all the same. So it goes Apple at 44%, Bank of America at 11%, Coke at 8%, American Express at 7%. Then what have we got next? Kraft Heinz, then Verizon, that new buy at 3%, Moody's 3%, US Bancorp, 2%, DeVita Healthcare, 1.5, and Chevron at 1.5. So interestingly, six out of 10, 12 months ago, six out of 10 of those companies were financial, were in the financial sector. Now only four out of 10 are. And as we we're looking at, if we look at the trends, he's also continuing to sell out, not just reduce, they're not just dropping to like the 11th largest position or the 15th largest position. He's actually actively selling out of a lot of those financial companies. For instance, selling out of JP Morgan, M&T Bank, PNC Financial. He also continues to reduce uh, heavily in Wells Fargo. It's now only 0.6% of his portfolio. So I think if we were to zoom out and have a look at the overall 13, if the, the quarter, the Q4 2020 results from Warren Buffett and what he did, Obviously, the big news is, first of all, he, he adds this big new position in Verizon. He adds a big new position in Chevron. And that's probably what will get most of the buzz, people talking about that. But I think the other thing that's interesting is that Buffett continues. This is not something that's new. He continues to reduce in the US financials. Uh, I mean, really the only one or the only, only two, I guess he really likes, the only bank that he really, really likes is Bank of America. And then he also has American Express as the fourth largest position in his portfolio. But overall guys, that is what Warren Buffett is buying and selling uh, for Q4 of 2020. And they are the top 10 holdings for Warren Buffett as we head into, or this from when this data was released, as we were heading into Q1 uh, 2021. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like on it if you did, if it helped you out, if you found it useful, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, maybe you're just stumbling across, maybe this is the first video of mine that you're watching. Please subscribe, okay, join the army. <laughs> um, there's a huge Huge percentage of people that watch my videos that aren't subscribed so I'm just gonna keep saying it if you're not subscribed please subscribe <laughs> 
Um, but that'll do me for today, guys. If you're interested in learning about how I go personally about my stock market investing, if you want to learn about active investing, Warren Buffett style, or if you want to learn about passive investing, check out Profitful. The links are in the description below. And by checking that out, you also help financially support the channel. So I really appreciate that. Um, but that'll do me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the new surroundings. We'll be back to normal in probably the next video or maybe the video after that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.